Watch this. You want to eat? You want to go outside? Yeah? Come on. All right, so we have his food. I do like to travel with uh, his, uh, his food every day, so he has his Put it in there like that. Take some of that. Pour a little bit in there, not too much. A little shake. All treats. So, yeah, I'll take that. Th Pour that up in there as well. Bada boom, bada bang. That's all. And some chicken, a little bit of vegetables. Um, it's actually not warmed up. It's all right. Put that up in there. Got some chicken chunks in there. Peanut butter flavor. You know. Come on, come eat. Let's go. Do you like it? I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy. Good to talk to your dog, pet your dog while he's eating, while he's young, so you guys can be used to each other during that time. You don't want him to have a food aggression or food response. Um, it's not good for owner and dog to have that, especially with other dogs as well. So that's a good key right there. I'm gonna give you guys a lot of dog tips today. We'll talk all dog stuff. Um, we'll go on walks, we'll go have some fun at the park. But it's just breakfast time. Put those snacks, some energy, uh, after he eats, in about 10 minutes, I give him some water, we'll go for a walk, and then we'll start our day. See you guys outside. Good boy. Before we go, we have like a little routine we always do. Um, you ready? Choke. You wanna race? You wanna race? Okay. Huh? Well, today is a very hot and humid day, so we have to be really cautious on where we walk, meaning the routes we take outside got to be in the shade. No direct sunlight, just too hot, man. Um, dogs like this can overheat easily, um, especially if you don't have water nearby. So uh, we'll make a few pit stops. We'll, we'll, most of our day will be right by the water. Stay tuned. Quick stop. Get some loves, you gonna lay down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good boy. Got some friends over there. Look, you got a little friend, man. Good friend behind you. Yeah, the giant with the mouth. <laughs> By the way, she eat him. See? Yeah. Him. Hey, hey! <laughs> Say what's hey, up, man. What's up? We in Miami, baby. Guys, when you're taking these long walks, you see this little shaded area right here, this little shaded path? This is key to making sure you guys stay in these shaded areas when you're walking. Now, if you guys look ahead, there's no shade up there. So now we're going to cross the street and get in this shade over here. Come on, let's go. Come on. Small little trot right into the shade again. Good boy. Come on. Now, this is just strategy, man. Just strategy. Now, I could walk in with no leash, and I'll show you guys that aspect later, but yeah. Stay in the shade. <laughs> you Uncle Jules at work? Hey. A little quick water break. All the water went on the floor, man. We gotta, you can't be doing that at Starbucks. They're gonna kick us out. Nah, I run here. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, a little quick break. It's hot outside. 
What's up, I see my little brother at Starbucks, aka Shuggy's uncle, <laughs> and we're gonna be right back to the ocean. Peace. Come on, buddy. I'm sure her lay down. Put it out. That's it. Good boy. She's like, actually, I'll just lay down, Dad. <laughs> Good boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Come on. Let's go. That's my good boy. Sit. Good boy. Stay. Stay. Come on. Good boy. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Now. Hey, sit. Thank you, sir. Stay. You got friends. Yeah, you got friends, man. How you doing, brother? Nice to meet you, man. Sorry, I'm filming a YouTube video. Let me see you on the gram and everything. Thank you. Get out of there. No, don't eat that. Hey, sit. Hold on one second, guys. Stay. A lot of stuff going around there's trains it's good cool, you know good boy so yeah it's never recommended to walk your dog without a leash in public because other dogs are around you know there's cars you don't want your dog to get hit by a car but me and my dog are really really in sync and uh, we hang out a lot we talk to each other a lot um, we're really really connected like dirt bikes and trains and people and other dogs it's a lot going on but it's okay because it's right there Squirrel. Now he's got all the energy now because he's at the dog park. This way. Come on. Wait. Hi. Easy. Hi. Come here. Sit. Thank you. Now we are at his favorite place in the park. And he knows exactly where to go. Come on, let's go. Now he has all the energy. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go swimming. You wanna go swimming? Yeah? You wanna go swimming? You wanna go swimming? Go ahead. Go. Go swimming. Good boy. Go, go ahead. Good boy. Go. Go swimming. You wanna go? Come on. Let's go. You wanna go swimming? Go ahead. Good boy. Go. Go ahead, go. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy, man. So, now that we're here, I will find him a coconut. Here, come. Come on. All right. Um, back up. Uh-oh. Dad's got a coconut. Oh, 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 oh. Dad's got a coconut. All right. Let's go this way. Come on. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Ah, wait a minute. 
Wait. This way? Yep. Ready? Somebody loves coconuts, it. That, uh, give me paw. I, I said give me paw. Give me paw. Sit. That, no. Sit. Give me paw. That, I said give me paw. That. Other hand. That. Give me paw. Thank you. Sit. Oh, this. Go. Woo! Good boy. Good boy, Shugs. Come on, bring it back. Come on, good boy. Come on, now he's nice and cool, guys. Come on, you're gonna bring it back? Come on, that's my good boy. Come on, come on, let's go. This way, come on, this way, come on, this way, come on. Good boy, come on. Good boy, there we go, there we go. Come on. Come on, good boy. That's my good boy. Good boy. You gonna eat it? Yeah, come here. So now he's got his coconut. He's satisfied. You gonna eat it? Yeah, you gonna eat the coconut? Yeah. Now this coconut cleans his teeth, gives him exercise, and then he gets a coconut inside of there. Helps with his coat, his joints, his bowel movement, everything. It's like a nice oil change. Literally, coconut oil. <laughs> oil change, coconut oil, same thing. You guys get it. So yeah, he's uh, <laughs> he's over there killing that coconut. And again, guys, when they eat this coconut, right? So when the dog bites into the fibers, it cleans their teeth, it helps their gums, it helps from uh, gingivitis and all that plaque buildup, it helps their breath. And I'm pretty sure you guys have dogs that are old or young and their breath stinks. This helps clean bad breath. Um, so if you guys see him chewing all that stuff up, every time he bites in, he's cleaning himself. He just loves it. It's good exercise for his neck because he's biting and pulling. Um, he's actually uh, trimming his claws down too naturally because he's pulling all this stuff off. And I'm pretty sure he doesn't like wear his nails down like a nail filer would. But uh, you guys get the point. So, yeah, we, um, believe it or not, I've, I've actually never trained him. You know, I just talked to him. Um, like I said, we spend a lot of time together. We sleep in the same bed. Um, I give him baths. You know, I, I never really like uh, give him much, uh, you know, discipline, like smack his butt or something because he's never a bad boy. And when he is, I tell him, hey, bad boy. And my energy changes, my mood changes, my tone changes. Um, a lot of these things can be uh, helpful when working with dogs, especially with a dog that's this big and he still has his balls, um, his, his testicles. He has all that testosterone he wants to release and let out. And you as an owner need to know how to use that and control that and use it towards different things that make them happy to exert the energy. Look at him. He's happy. You know, he's like, oh, I got, I got, he's got all the husk off of the coconut. Now he's got that small hard ball. He's going to get in there and break it. Are you going to eat it? Yeah. You're going to eat it? <laughs> Good boy. Come on, man. Show me what you got. Come on. You done? Good boy. Good boy. Let me see what you got. You done? Can I see? Can daddy have some? You gonna share? Can daddy have some? Hey. Come here. Daddy has some? He's like, uh, no. <laughs> you want this one? Ah, back it up. Back it up. Sit. I said sit. Easy. Easy. Let me see it. Eh, easy. Ah, eh, easy. Let me see your teeth. Hey. Let me see your teeth. Alright. Ah, back up. Sit. 
Sit down, I said. Stay. Stay. <laughs> ah, no. I said no. Back it up. No. 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 Give me Paul. I said Paul. Thank you. Back it up. 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 Thank you. I want to adjust this camera angle. dog huh good workout for me good workout for him he's so strong Tired, man. I want him to go run and get it out the water, but he ain't letting it go. So strong. I threw it. Go get it, man. Go ahead, go get it, go. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. That's my good boy. Woo! Woo! Good job, Shooks. That's my good boy. Come on. Before the sharks get you. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Come on. You did it, pal. Woo, woo, woo. Come on, let's go. So, yeah, man. That's a quick uh, breakfast for you guys. A quick walk to the park. A little swim. A little sit, stay. Oh, again. I haven't trained this dog. Um, I just spent a lot, a lot of time with him and I've been working with dogs my whole life. You guys know I have a lot of dogs. You guys are new to this channel. Um, this is Shuggy. He's gonna be five years old this uh, February 14th. He's born on Valentine's Day. Um, he's tired, <laughs> I'm tired. Uh, we're in the shade over here underneath these palm trees in downtown Miami. Uh, my dog is a service dog, um, emotional support animal. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't got a chance to go into full detail about all my dogs. Um, it's a sad story, uh, but next vlog, next dog vlog, we'll get more in depth and detailed. But they, they give you a limit of, you can only have five dogs in Florida per, per owner of your house. 
And uh, long story short, it made me give up my dogs. Um, it's sad, it hurts to talk about it, it hurts to think about it, but you know, uh, I can't just choose out of my 12 dogs I have, 13, 15 dogs I have. I gotta give them to per certain people, old breeders that I know, old friends I went to school with, uh, trusted family members that I know have dog experience. So I keep in contact with, you know? Um, I can't just give my dogs to no random people. So I did have to rehome a lot of my dogs. I still have a few. Um, so he's my main guy, if you guys don't know. And, and uh, th in the state of Florida, um, in Dade County in particular, um, all bully breeds are illegal. So uh, I went to go get emotional support and uh, service dog paperwork, but they only allowed me two dogs. So. Uh, it's a lot of headaches and loopholes and uh, and if they came back again I didn't have my stuff together they're gonna euthanize my dogs so uh, yeah um, I had to do a lot of things that I didn't want to do you know um, that really hurts me to talk about it like I said I want to keep it clear with you guys and transparent um, but here's this big old killer in a park with other dogs and people walking around he's got no leash you know he's uh he has a leash um right here but again he's not he's not on his leash you know he's not running off trying to kill dogs and bite people and stuff you know um these dogs get a bad rap and uh, i don't want people like uh the government to come see me on youtube with uh 15 dogs and they look at me as a threat you know because at the end of the day if they were to come to my house and confiscate my animals, they're gonna make the dogs look bad. I don't even care about myself because I know what I do. I show you guys what I do. You can't have a dog like this and be a bad person and be a bad owner. You know what I'm saying? So uh, again, uh, I'm trying not to let my emotions get the best of me in this vlog um, because dogs are, are really special to me, you know? And um, I miss my dogs, man. I really do. It hurts to think about not having them with me 24 7. Um, I'm one of those owners where I'm annoying. I'm always there, you know. I give a lot of love to my pups because they give a lot of love back to me. And uh, yeah, man, I'm not, I'm not gonna keep talking about it anymore. Like I said, we'll do another dog vlog later and we'll get more depth and detail. But I wanted to show you guys walking, playing, walking down the street with no leash. There's even another dog over there. I'm pretty sure he'll come say hey. He's sweet with other dogs. Um, he looks scary. He's got these big old muscles, but uh, he's just a baby. Now, I've been gone for a month, so we're going to spend some time together. I'm going to give him a bath. Of course, he needs one to go in the salt water. Uh, I'm going to get him conditioned and shampooed up. And then, uh, yeah, man, I love you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And uh, say bye to Shiggy. Shiggy, say bye. Come here, Shooks. Hey, come here. Come here, man. Hey. He's like, nope, I got my toy. I got my coconut dad. I'm not giving you any love. All right, guys. I love y'all. Have a freaking beautiful day. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hey, sit. Stay. You want this? Go get it. Good boy. Good boy. Go ahead. Go get it. Good boy. Good boy. That's my good boy. Good job, kiddo. Come on. <laughs> you can't grab it. Come on. Bring it back. That's a good boy. That's my handsome boy. Good job, kiddo. Dad's so proud of you. Good job, man. You did it. You retrieved the coconut. Woo!